What's up guys, it's Jet. We're here for episode five of the Tacoma build and we are working on sliders today. Here we are, we're working on our stringers and all that, getting everything fitted up. The other side's already done. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just starting the next episode. Steal my spotlight? Hell yeah. supposed to be cool on the internet if you were taking my spotlight, dude. Whatever, just take over the fucking video again. All right, cool. If you followed us this far along into our Tacoma build, you know what we're working with. Quick little rundown is we got a 2002 double cab V6 Tacoma that we three linked front and rear with some trailing arms out back. We put it on some fabricated Toyota housings, eight inch diffs, e-locker rear. And in our last episode of this truck build, we got this thing running and driving down the road, went and put some gas in it, but we haven't been able to put it in the dirt yet because we're missing the last couple things, which is what we're doing today. Here we got our set of sliders that our boy Jet built and fabricated onto the truck last week. You can see all the stringers are intact, a couple gussets on them, and these are going to get welded and powder coated before we install them on the truck. While the sliders are at the powder coater, we'll go ahead and weld the frame plates onto the truck. We have two here. In the back, one of these stringers for the slider will land here, and our fourth frame plate is right here. these sliders right now and you know we got you on the tripod hello sick so yeah watch me mount these sliders <laughs> We're all wrapped up, ready to touch up the sliders with some paint, paint the frame rails in the middle, and the paint is done. <whistles> Don't be silly. Wrap your rig. Really? Maybe. And you're gonna leave this on after you're done? I think so, we'll probably drive it like this. Yeah, yeah I think so. Now it was time to start on the back bumper. The first thing I did was cut the excess part of the bed in the back that we wanted out of the way so we could run our bumper nice and high. From there, I bent a simple little hoop that wrapped around the both sides of the bed and tacked that on. Once we had that all fitted in place, I went ahead and cut some tubes to support the outer corners of the bumper in case we were to hit it with any rocks. Next up was tacking in our lower hoop, which gave us a nice spot to tack our receiver hitch to. With the receiver hitch in place, we're able to tack in our diagonal supports that go from the receiver out to the frame to add lots of strength when we need to pull something heavy. We added in these little inch and a half tubes to fill the gaps in the bumper. And lastly, we marked and cut where we had to cap the bumper to line up with the back of the fender. We're hammering along. You see we got the rear bumper all painted. Jet got the sliders painted and now we're headed into the shop to mount back bumper and try and get this damn thing done. Let's go. Now it was time to get going on the front bumper, and to be honest with you, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted this thing to look like. What I did know was that I wanted it to be bolt in, I wanted it to hold a winch, and I wanted it to be as low profile as possible. So after taking some measurements, I drew out the bolt pattern on the frame, the bolt pattern on the winch, and came up with this basic winch plate. Everything fit really well, and when I bolted the winch in, the clearance between the winch control box and the grill was spot on. Next up, I took some measurements on overall height and width of the front fair lead plate, drew it with some nice little cutouts, and cut that out on the plasma table as well. On this bumper, just like a lot of the stuff I build, I typically don't have a final design in mind, and I really just focus on taking it step by step, putting one foot in front of the other, otherwise I won't get anything done. I came up with a super basic main hoop that welded onto that fair lead plate and wrapped all the way around to protect my fenders. After that, I added these diagonal tubes that go from the bumper plate up to the main hoop right in front of the fender. We then added these tubes that welded from the frame plate 
up to the main hoop to add some triangulation to the front of the bumper. The last thing we had to do is add these tabs to run some Flex Era KC lights right on top of the bumper. So there you have it. After a nice coat of paint, our front bumper is back on. We got our KCs mounted. The winch is in. We got our fair lead in. Got our KC turn signals in this thing. One thing I didn't cover in my video is I built a skid for the radiator on these four-wheel drive trucks. The radiators hang down below the frame rails. I know a lot of guys like to switch them to a two-wheel drive radiator. I didn't think about that until it was too late. So I just built a little skid plate here that keeps everything covered. We finished off the rear bumper with a flip of license plate mount. It clears when the tailgate is down in all positions. I feel like that'll be nice, not only to hide the hitch, but also to try and keep the plate out of the rocks when we're wheeling and stuff like that. I've noticed on my red truck that my plate is just mangled and every time we get done wheeling, I have to kind of unfold it because it turns into a burrito. Maybe this will help, maybe it won't. It's worth a shot. I wanted to give you guys a better look at our frame plates as well. This might be something that we offer as a builder part. Use a through bolt here and it goes into a factory threaded hole on the frame there. And lastly, you can see our tube caps here. They seem to follow the angle of the fender pretty well in the back. They also follow it pretty well up there. And now that we've got bumpers and sliders, there's only one thing left to do and that's go test this thing. I don't think we're gonna go too hard on it today because I really just wanna make sure it works. I don't wanna break anything before we take it out. Let's get it to tacos on the Rubicon, get it home, make sure everything's good on it, and then we can start beating on it. Say. Sick as f How's your rig? Way cooler, I guess. Only because it's blue, though. True. Look, 10 second history lesson. My buddy Jack gave this thing to me. I think I gave him 100 bucks for it, and it sat out behind my shop forever. And then Austin asked me if he'd sell it or if I'd sell it to him, and he bought it and saved it from still being behind my shop. And he marked it up eight times from what he paid for it. You paid 800 bucks? Yeah. I'm a businessman. I had yeah. to rip them off, Whatever. dude. I mean, he sold me the motor that's in it, too. Really? <laughs> that's out of the tool drive truck that was in your oh, yard. Yeah. And we that got, we from, got that from that chick. That chick that you were trying to Another really cool part is Austin ran out of time to build his first gen rock crawler. He's doing like a K20 swap automatic, whatever. I don't know what he's doing. But he had this thing that he had just put a 22RE into and did a third gen pickup dash on and he figured he could have a better chance of getting the tacos on the Rubicon if he decked this out instead of trying to finish his truck. I don't know exactly what all he did, but he does so. There you go. All right, what's done to this thing? So basically, I just took all of the scrap parts that we had laying around from mine and my dad's 20 years of building the same trucks and just put it into this for a quick Rubicon trip. So it's got like a Amazon <laughs> ratcheting locker in the back and like dual cases that were sitting in the backyard. Like if you look at this cross member down here, this thing is absolutely a POS. It's all beach crap, but holds the transfer cases. So, I mean, can't really complain. And then I got the guy behind the camera to make me some six sliders for it, since uh, I wanted some style instead of just a straight tube. Built a rear bumper for it, and then that's about it, really. Break 
kicking the fresh nittos in over here. Truck did great. Uh, there's a little leaky fitting on the steering box. I have like a Dash 6 conversion fitting that's leaking. But other than that, it's pretty much good. Uh, there's a little issue with the rear locker light on the dash. I think the sensor doesn't really pick up exactly where the position is. But mechanically, the thing is pretty much perfect. It's as good as it's gonna be. Uh, driving with an open front diff is super fun. It's just different. Takes a little more work, like I said, and honestly, this thing ticked all the boxes. Having like a mid-sized truck that fits in between the red truck and a normal truck, I love it. So thanks for watching. I don't know what we're going to build next, but I'm sure we'll show you guys. See ya. If you've been following our build, you know we started with a bone stock Tacoma. Hey! What the f is going hey. on?
Hey, hey, man. Twice in one video?